So follow this sequence carefully. Switch the unit on. Open the faulty drawer. Okay, drop out the CD. Now with the drawer still open, power the unit off. Now grab, grab, grab the tray at the front sides and just you. The motion is just squeeze out slightly like that. Okay. Remove the front lip from the tray, put it aside. Now you now you can disconnect the remote control unit and move it out of the way. So, taking your Phillips screwdriver. at the top, four at the sides, and if you can see that, um, probably not, but you get the picture, it's four, four side screws to undo, And one at the back. Okay, now you see the, uh, the relevance of the, uh, the little tray here to hold the screws. Now at this point, before you take the lid off, but unplug the unit, you don't want to work on it live. So, unplug the mains unit, remove the cover, and put it aside. Okay, next thing you have. Um, Screws here, see if I can zoom in on that for you. Okay, so just here there's two screws that that hold in these sockets which are attached to the this board. So next thing we do is undo those two screws. beauty of this tray is it's compartmentalised so it gives you, you can keep the screws in order that you took them out in. And on the, on the board itself, on the top of the board there are four screws located that we need to undo. The front one holds a little clip to keep the wires in place there. You can leave that the clip in situ. Okay, let's see if I can get a closer view for you. 
So the screw holes are here, 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 and here. Then you can slide the board. The board now feels loose. Now underneath there are several cables you have to disconnect. So we'll start at the front by doing this one. It's four wires with the, it, the, the plugs are keyed so you can't get them in the wrong way around. So gently extract that one. Tilt the board. Look underneath it. And you'll see the others. There's, there's a wide ribbon cable that undoes from the centre board here, like so. And we have two cables there and there that need extracting. And another ribbon cable just here, which we extract. That will stay, they stay the right way around anyway, generally. Um, the ribbon cable's not keyed, but you, you'll know if it's twisted. Okay, so that's the board removed. We can put that out of the way. This brings us to the mechanism. This is secured by four screws here. Here and here and here. Now it becomes apparent why you had to open the drawer first while the controller was still connected with power because you, you need the, the tray out to access these front screws here. So without too much lateral movement just try and keep screwdriver straight as you do this. Feel when the screw comes loose, and so that's the two front screws and the two back screws. This is, this is where the pickup tool comes in handy. You can use it to flick out the back screws at least. Now in the middle here, there's um, a small ribbon cable that you have to reach in and, and get out. Let's see if I can get you a closer view on that. to see that. Okay. Well, as, as we tilt the back of the unit up, yes you can see that. Okay so as we tilt the back of the unit up by pressing down on the tray you can get a finger underneath like so and reach over the top like so grasping that ribbon cable which is attached to the head and pull it out. Okay, you're now ready to extract the unit, which is done. Let's zoom out for you. Which is done like that. Now, if we tip this upside down, the screws will the screws at the front two holes here. There's two screws in there. If we t tilt this upside down, those two screws will come out. Or should come out. The, the front screws are slightly different to the back ones. They look like that. If you're having trouble, just use, the, use that to extract it. There you go, there's the screw. Okay. So, here is our extracted unit that we're going to work with.